Now, when I mentioned Mork and Mindy to my four daughters, they have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about. But when I mentioned Jeannie from Aladdin, yay! Yeah, they go absolute nuts. And it's been 32 years since Mork and Mindy was on. Were you more nervous that first day on the set of Mork and Mindy or the first day of the crazy ones? No, I wasn't nervous the first day on the set of Mork and Mindy because I was on everything but skates at that time. So I was like, hey! Well, Congress is turning its attention from Syria and back to the country's budget. House leaders have postponed a vote scheduled for today that would keep federal agencies operating. But schools here in Florida are fighting back against bullying. Every school district has a bullying policy. If your child is being bullied, talk to a school administrator and file a written report immediately. New information this morning about the domestic dispute between George Zimmerman and his wife. Shelly Zimmerman and her attorney are sharing her side of the story. They say they had an agreement with George that he would not be at the house when she went to collect her belongings, but that George showed up and started taking pictures. I was told a couple years ago, my two older daughters said, why don't you just get mommy a gift card because she doesn't like any of the gifts you get her. I was like, wait a second, what? She goes, oh, you know? she re she's returned them all. And I'm like, all right, oh, we're going to do gift notice. cards. You didn't I did notice not notice. I'm like, away. where's that oh. thing that I got her? So I thought, you know what? That makes sense. And you wear every tie that they give you. 100%. That's <laughs> you know right. That's uh, ugly or not. That's right. Yeah. Our weather team is in-house in full effect, giving you the latest and what you need to know. And one of those things you needed to know uh, about five minutes ago, it was released uh, a tornado warning. We also have a thunderstorm warning still in effect until 1230. But because of that tornado warning, this is the scene out at Tyrone Square Mall in St. Petersburg. People hovering, hearing the warning, the horn, the alarm, and hovering around that. If you do have a photo of anything storm coverage related, we want you to send it to our Facebook page, facebook.com, WTS. 10 news. You can also send it to Bobby Deskins weather as well. If you have an Android uh, device, you have an iPad. We also want you to get WTSP weather as well. That's an app that you can pick up. You will be totally covered on that as well. And there is a warning. Stay in the mall. If you're out there, you're watching us, you're streaming us at WTSP.com. The warning is stay in that mall. Stay with us here at 10 news. We're going to keep you updated. I once tried magic as a kid, trying to make my broccoli, carrots, and just about every vegetable that touched my plate for dinner disappear. My goal to stop eating vegetables, well, it was just like my career in magic. Short lived. I want to know what's going on because with all the screening to get in the airport, what are TSA, what are, what are these agents missing? Because these guys are getting on planes. It's That's happening. Right. I'm sure it helps. Uh, you're you're dealing with a five-time Emmy Award winner, so that that that's always a good thing, right? You know, she, she should know what she's talking about. I try to right. remind him of that as much as I can. <laughs> yeah, just you know, know. Yeah. In yeah. fact, I I prefer it if he calls me uh, five-time Heather Tom. Oh yeah, yeah. Exactly. So. yeah. I don't agree with her <laughs> most of the really time. Really, just kidding. Yes. <laughs> and Dave, you have uh, one, and uh, hopefully, hurt. hopefully, with your return, Dave, you'll get some more, right? You'll add some more to your. Let's show. hope. Hey, Absolutely. There you go. All right, yeah. guys. Hey, we appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you taking the time. Well, the woman who was stabbed more than 30 times by her boyfriend at her Clearwater home will appear on Inside Edition this morning. Melissa Dome has come a long way since the incident last year. One of the paramedics that helped save her life is now her boyfriend. Time now is 534 and U.S. Senator Bill Nelson is asking congressional leaders to put aside their differences and pass cyberbullying legislation. Nelson hopes the bill will help keep bullying from taking another life like 12 year old Rebecca Sedwick. Well, McDonald's continues to jump on the healthy route. The fast food giant plans to offer side salads as a substitute for French fries with their value mills starting next year. Well, today the Senate will vote on an emergency spending bill that will avert a partial government shutdown next week. The Senate will likely remove a House provision defunding the Affordable Care Act. Union members of the Lakeland Police Force take the first of two votes that will decide the future of Police Chief Lisa Womack. The first straw poll was held on whether to take a vote of no confidence in the chief who has come under fire for her handling of sex scandals in the department. Well, meanwhile, today, Dante Morris will be sentenced for murdering two Tampa police officers. Morris was found guilty last week of shooting and killing officers David Curtis and Jeffrey Kokab back in 2010. President Obama is offering help to communities devastated by dozens of tornadoes that hit the Midwest. Twisters destroyed as many as 500 homes and killed eight people. The cleanup continues this morning, but officials say it could have been worse. Accurate forecasting and early warnings helped save lives. Despite tough security at McDill Air Force Base, we've learned a homeless woman was able to sneak onto the base four times. 10 News reporter Ashley Porter is at McDill this morning. 
Also today, you can watch the St. Petersburg mayoral candidates square off right here on 10 News. Current Mayor Bill Foster and candidate Rick Kreisman will join us at noon to answer your questions. Allison will be the moderator for the debate. Watch it live at noon on air or on WTSP.com.